getting a lesson, Kevin, by the way, from three-time Mr. Olympia, Frank Zane. He's doing the leg press, and if you'll notice, he's got his feet in a little awkward position. We'll let him explain exactly what that's working, but it looks like he's concentrating on more of the uh, teardrop. The teardrop on the thighs. Uh oh, I just heard his uh, yeah, knee snap, snap crackling pop. He must just getting warmed up. It's a little bit of yeah. cartilage loosening up there, but this is a, a second best leg exercise I would imagine as far as packing on the sides. Right, right. I think this exercise right here, depending on how. You have your legs positioned, right? You can pretty much hit the quads from all different angles. Plus, how much weight you got on. So we're gonna load it up for you, Kevin. We're gonna load it up. All right, step into position. I like it this way. With my feet lower because it hits more quads. Of course, you can't use as much weight. But I like the isolation it gives. I'm just gonna keep potting it on here. See if we can't take Kevin to the cleaners. All right. Here we go. Now, uh, you were saying you like your foot position a little bit lower than Kevin's for what reason? Well, it isolates more quads. Uh, this gets more leg bicep yeah, and buttock and a little bit more lower back. You notice how his knees come up and almost touch his chest here. Right. Mine are down much lower. Well, this is a light weight for Kevin. I've seen Kevin load it up and have the plates oh, yeah. on top and have people sitting on it. And uh, The guy's doing this with a thousand pounds. Right. Today, uh, how much weight were you guys using back in the days you were winning the Olympia three consecutive years in a row? I never did this one for much. You know, I always did lighter leg presses around 200, 250, and do higher reps with it. Well, what I'm finding is that most of the bodybuilders we've had on our show here uh, at the Flex Magazine workout is we've got such a wide variety of equipment, and uh, most of the guys get, you know, bored with using, yeah. doing the same thing all the time. So they use a you lot of different variety. Exercises. That really makes it interesting. All right, Sean, show me what you got, babe. <laughs> I got to do this. Show first, me what you got. My first set. I'm gonna try Come on, baby. I'll hang with you. Yeah, this is just a warm-up set. All right, I do it with my toes pointing out. Bringing the hamstrings a now, little more. Boy, I think everybody has their own little unique way of doing this exercise, you know. Um, a lot of people, they might see the articles in the magazine. Now, I do it with my feet straight ahead. Sean does his slightly turned out. You do yours a lot lower. Yeah, it's almost like I'm going to do a calf raise with it. And I do calf raises on this machine with my feet in that position with them down very low. Right. It just feels the best on my knees and lower back that way. Now, Sean, um, through this whole range of movement, are you actually flexing the quads as you... Actually, Kevin, along? sometimes when I bring it up to the top, I'm literally squeezing. I don't lock out all the way, but I'm actually squeezing and tensing the quadriceps because that's what's going to bring in that definition. But the main focus for me is to come down as far as I can. Okay, we're going to another exercise. Where's some leg biceps, huh? Yeah, a little <laughs> bit of leg biceps. Move on to our uh, standing um, leg curl machine. Standing here. one leg curl. Kevin, you're so big, I can't get around you. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> you like that one, huh? <laughs> All right, we're working the leg bicep here on the, the uh, standing leg curl, and this is more of an isolation movement. We earlier did the lying two-legged leg curls. This is a single leg, and uh, what this is basically like the concentration curl is for the bicep, except we're doing it for the hamstring. Right. Now, this is one of my favorite exercises, because actually, you know, you can stretch all the way down and really feel it. That's right. You know, contract the muscle. And you can also do drop sets. You can have your workout partner literally after you've done 10 reps, lighten the weight and get, squeeze out a few more repetitions. Right. The goal here is to bring the heel up to the base of the glutes. Press your body up against the apparatus. Hold on firmly at the top so that you're not swinging and jerking the weight up, but concentrating on the hamstring. You know what I mean? You got good. it. All right, go for yeah. it. You want, want more Let's weight add some weight here. Kevin's always like, add some weight. That's his favorite word, add some weight. Well, you know why, Sean? I always like to try this equipment. See how, you know, to see what it's made out of. Challenge you know I mean? yourself. In bodybuilding, Frank. Check out Frank, those leg biceps while he does that. Look at that. In, uh, so you got to worry about that, Sean. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is my inspiration here. I yeah. mean, we all start somewhere. When I started bodybuilding, I was looking at yourself and Boyer Co. and Arnold Schwarzenegger and Lee Haney, for that matter. But now competing against the Gaze crop, we've got like 200 professionals that at any given time could just pop up and take that Olympia title. And what I found that in present day bodybuilding, modern time bodybuilding, is there's so many different equipment and so many different ranges of bodybuilders. I mean, this guy's like 5'9", 260 pounds. Uh, back right when on. you were competing, the, uh, there was maybe a handful of guys that you had to deal with who knew who you were competing against. Exactly. You know, the thing about this exercise I like, too, is it also works the calf. Yeah, it does. Directly, of course, but just contracting the outer head of the, uh, of the calf. Well, if you point your toe back, you'll feel it a lot uh -huh. more in your calf. Good. Yeah. Kevin's working out in boots. What does the boots do for you, Kevin? Well, I had to get on that hardcore attitude when they called <laughs> the me up and said, you're going to be training with Sean Ray? Right, yeah. baby, bring it. You know? <sighs> 
slightly different style. It sounds yeah. always a little faster with the rap. Well, no, just so you get the pump. Rhythm is very essential. Both of you guys have great rhythm on your sets. Right. And a lot of people think it's the speed of the rep that does everything. That's important. The main thing, I think, is that rhythm. You feel it's it. Periodic movement. And obviously, uh, Sean is in the rhythm. He's going with it. He's feeling with it. He's staying there. He feels comfortable with right. it. So therefore, he keeps going, you know? Fury says I like doing everything fast so I can hurry up and get it over with. But I don't do everything fast. Let's move into our third third and final stretching, exercise. Huh? Yeah. We're going to move into another hamstring exercise. And Frank, I believe this is also going to bring in the lower back. You're going to do some good warnings. Yeah. Now, Frank, is this, do you always perform this exercise? I don't do too much of this. I used to do a lot of it, and I always go fairly light. It's a good stretch for the hamstrings. I've never really, your I've lower never back really performed this exercise, you know? I think um, hyperextension gets a lot of the same thing, and of course you guys are going to do something a little different than this. Right, well as you uh, you continue to warm it up on your first set of good mornings, you guys stay with us, don't go away, because we got some calf training coming up, find out exactly what's inside there, Kevin, what do you got hidden down inside there? Hey man, you told me. Look at those cows. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to find out how you train it right here on the Flex That's Magazine right. workout. Stay with us. Good job, Frank. Come on, Frank. Good job, man really working the glutes and the hamstrings.